Right, recap. Yes, the recap. Hey, hey, Foxy, do you want to you want to recap? <laughs> <laughs> Rude. Yeah, I wasn't there for any of it. I'm guessing you guys went on an amazing journey in a Just castle. There were about a mile to the left. You fought East, things. Right. Uh, the power probably turned into some crazy ass creature with a backpack and talked to horses. Uh, You're not wrong. <laughs> Our schools aren't crazy. Magic stole more bread. Zate. Okay, that did happen. Talked to secret people. Muzz did his thing as um uh, uh what was your character an orc? Half orc, thank you very much. Half orc, you're welcome. As a thank you very much, half orc, and he intimidated everyone, and you guys fought scary people. That's my uh summary of what happened, and I wasn't there. <laughs> She's right on kind of many like occasions. You, really. Yeah. yeah. Eh, uh, half. I did indeed intimidate. We There's just no fighting involved last time around, but... I sure is. Oh, heck, he do. He turned into some animal and also spoke to the horses. And I did indeed intimidate. And, uh... Farrick did indeed talk to, well, shady people? Would you call Calistria shady? Did, did I miss oh. much then? Uh, well, okay, he well, went he to, to the... Actual recap of the, of the, a, of the yeah. whorehouse. <laughs> So he wants to give the actual recap. I did it last time. Uh, I guess it's my turn then. Did you last time? Didn't I do it last time? Um, did you, you know do whose this turn time it before? is? It's Marjek's turn. Well, yeah, Actually, it would be. Yeah. Bad news on that front, he's at home with a headache. Yep, <laughs> yep. well... Right, so last time uh, we gathered some new things to do in the Ring of Iron. Um, Grass went and met the oh, Grass and Theminor went and met the captain who was uh, not hawk but wolf something. I don't remember the first name. It wasn't and Stephen, but it wasn't Stephen. It was uh, I do have a name somewhere here, but I just can't be bothered to change the page. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, there was uh, two missions that we kind of took to consideration and one of them was uh, that there was some murders in the industrial area where there were two people murdered I believe. Uh, three that you know of and one missing. Okay. Well there were a few three people the murdered. Third murdered the the third one was that person murdered out in the street that you didn't never investigated. Ah. There's that. Oh yeah. <laughs> and, and there's then... a person missing but you know. Yeah, and then the other one was uh, near sewer entrance, there was uh, people dead or missing, and then there was some search parties sent into the sewers, but they never returned. And we decided to... well, we investigate a little bit about the murders in the industrial area, but we kind of decided to then start going towards the sewer mission, and we then, on the following morning, we went... Uh, Further down to town, or the uh, lower levels of the town, and then we entered a tavern and asked for some information. Had to I mean, when we kept in music on. intimidate some people to get the information, but we found out that there's another entrance to the sewer because we figured out that if people haven't returned from the sewer entrance where they went in, then maybe that is not a safe place to enter. Do we know how to get from where we're entering to where we're going in the sewer? I think Sate remembered the direction. Okay, I... well you have to make survival checks, but sure. <laughs> that was that as well. <laughs> and people joke that Fine North is a useless spell. <laughs> anyway. So, as you sort of a um, begin sort of, you know, opening up the sewer, the, uh, sewer grate, which you were directed to by that, a... Uh, gentleman in the bar they a um you sort of like from now just goes to hop in and you just see something change in his eyes i haven't drank in two days and he just sprints off in one direction 
like barely leaving behind like any time for you to like, stop and catch him. You've never seen him move this quickly, not in like near death situations, in fights, anything. It's quite impressive and disturbing. Does he leave a trail of bread? It's a trail of literal breadcrumbs. <laughs> really stale breadcrumbs. So no point in following that then. <laughs> well, you know, it's really into stale bread. It's convenient this time the locker also rounds the corner to find you guys. Hello there. Well, hello. Well, hello. How you been? And where uh, you been? How did you get into the compound without the papers that we have? Oh, that's... Well, I... I do think... The city is open. Just for a reminder. The back door was right open. I just walked through, nobody really cared, so, you know, it's fine. Sounds about right. <laughs> so, you, gonna go, you guys gonna go into the sewer? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, I think Marek will probably go first. Okay. I'll take second. I'll take third. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm going fourth. How wide is the sewer, by the way? It's uh, you can look, you can just about walk for like you know four like side by side, but it's a bit, even but, you know that's about the total width. In the center, there's, there's this you know sewageish water which is about up to your ankles. So unless you want to like stand in that, you would have to go and stand to the sides. Forgot to bring my wellies, so <laughs> guess I'll walk on the side. Yeah. So do we remember? Roughly the direction where the entrance uh, that was pointed to us. Uh... Make me a survival check. Okay. A very high DC, as you know. You know, as like, you've only been like like underground for for, for for like you know under a minute, but still. Anything specific we can see. I mean, most of um, have dark vision, I think. Yeah, all of you have dark vision, I think. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's useful. Uh, yeah, it's um, from what you can see, it's uh, just this quite. The sewers seem to be like just yeah, a generic sewers really. They seem to be in quite well, good repair. Um, the sewages, of course, stinks horribly, but you know, there's, there's you can't really hear any movement as far as you can tell, or see anything really. Guess we'll move forward then. Are there many like side tunnels that we can enter, or is it mostly? It's mostly, uh, from what you can see now, it's mostly just what just one way with like tiny shoots, a um, you know, coming in every like every like every few meters. You can guess what they are. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> want to avoid those? Yep. Mm -hmm. Definitely want to avoid those. Right. So <laughs> thinking that we are on a lower level, uh, we'd probably want to go upstream. Sounds like a plan. Joy. So you're gonna get moving? I guess yep. so. Okay. Uh, yeah, you travel for... Yeah. As we're doing this, I want everyone to make me perception checks. Oh, happy days. This is the beginning of my life. <laughs> <sighs> hey, now you've not rolled anything else. You can use up your good roll here. Eh. Well, your bad <laughs> roll. Got... Never mind. <laughs> Well, think of it like this. In, if, if we get to combat, you'll be really good. Yeah. <laughs> 17, Hopefully. 19, 6, and 23. So... Well, you actually, yeah. yeah. You well, are, yeah. You all keep two. an ear out. Graz, you're just sort of... Your efforts to sort of keep an ear out are sort of hampered by... You just keep... Sort of... The smell just keeps hitting you. And you don't can't quite get over the fact that, you know... What you're standing into and so close to. Indeed. And you're paying more attention to, like, make to being, you know... Away from the shoots rather yeah. than actually looking out around you. I mean, I'm guessing I have to dodge the shoots every five feet or something. You're a lot warier than maybe you should be about them rather than everything else in there. Mm -hmm. But the rest of you, you sort of listen on hearing every once in a while. You can't really hear much, you know, running water, just occasional drip, the occasional squeak of like a rat, a little scarfing of it. But thanks to all your dark vision, you. Keep fairly well, you know, aware of the situation. And after about a, um, after about the like 15, 15 minutes, you're, you, you keep going, you, you're upstreaming sort of to eventually takes you to uh, a stairwell, which goes further up. 
goes along it sort of goes along alongside the uh, water ch the water ton channel. Mm, I guess we go up here. You did say we were at the lower level. Level. True. So we do need to move upwards. Okay. You uh, you, you got the stairs again. It's uh, more sewer that more sewer. There seems to be. The channel is a little bit wider now, and sl and but but it's also slightly f like thinner for some reason. As if like well, if you stand in it now, it's only it, it barely gets it barely like gets above your foot. Still rather not walk in it, <laughs> if at all possible. <laughs> Something yes. about not wearing a lot of clothes in the first place. So f shoes are not a thing. <laughs> but yeah, you um. Yeah, and eventually, you, for, for like not long, you go to the main water ch like channel where it's where it splits three ways. Which ways. directions? Hmm. Yeah. Are, hey, is there a flow coming from all three, or is it? There's a flow coming from all three. Hmm. Uh, very good thing like to... sort, of, sort of junction point where several like sort of sewer like sort of several like pipes reach the same point and then go down as one. Uh, so very good. Like to first take a couple moments watching the streams. There is there anything unusual in there, like body parts or something like that? Secondly, let me your perception or investigation check. I'll probably make a perception check. Oh, I wonder why. Yeah. Huh. Playing to your talents. <laughs> uh, looking in, it's mostly just, you know, dark, muddy, well, you hope muddy water. Um, well, you can't really see much in it. Or Fine. anything distinct, at least. Okay, I have no idea about that. Then, uh, two questions. One, do I have the inspiration die? You do, of course, have your inspiration. Okay, I'm gonna use the inspiration and try to figure out which way would be the uh, correct correct direction towards the entrance pointed to us by the officials. Okay, maybe a survival check. You of course have advantage. Hmm. Uh, you're fairly sure, like if you follow the like sort of the um the the, the uh, tunnel to your immediate left for like for a, for a while, you should get to the entrance point eventually. Yeah, I think left is the direction we need to go. Very well. I will well, just go inside. It's as good a direction as any. Indeed. It's like a maze, always go left. <laughs> Maybe we should have opened the original entrance and put something down there so we could know when we found it. Just a suggestion. It's too late now. It is a bit too late now, but yeah, it was a good idea. Next time we go into sewers. Next time you guys get sent sent on a on a dangerous a um, sewer adventure by the government. A yeah. suicide mission. Suicide mission. Suicide mission. <laughs> God. <sighs> right. Um. Since we are approaching the area, I think uh, it might be a good idea to start uh, going a, a bit sneaky. Careful progression. Oh, well, at least ready my weapon, just in case. Yeah. So you're just going to keep tracking forward for uh, a while longer? Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay. After about 10-15 minutes of walking, you're not really sure uh, like how long exactly is, you know. At, at this point, being underground, it's you know hard to track, keep up the time exactly, especially when you're being so alert about other things. But eventually, sort of a um, your some of some of your a uh, like so, some of your those of you have longer dark vision, like a uh, lock cut, begin to sort of see like the path ahead of you stop at a um. Like stop at this sort of a um another one of these like sort of junction points. Uh, I'll put you guys on the map one moment. Uh, 
Are you guys all w walking in one train or on opposite sides of the same? A um... I'm guessing opposite sides. Uh, yeah, I'd say opposite sides. Okay. Because me and Farrakh in front. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One moment. Oh, yeah. Oh, what time you just lagged and I put down three of Muzz's uh, token at once. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I mean I'm large, but Jesus. <laughs> You're large, but there's only one of you. Yeah, exactly. I don't think I have, I have the skills to do anything. Okay. A map, that's never good. Wait, so this is down one of the three original paths. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We did go left. Bro. I'm gonna maybe do a little... Yeah. As you begin a, um, looking towards the, a, um... Looking, it's like, not seeing, like, this sort of, the, not a dead end in front of you, the end of, like, of your chance to keep moving that way. Oh, what languages does everyone possess? Oh, you can look at our character sheets. Well, yeah, but that's, like, slow and cumbersome. <gasps> Common, Dwarfish, and Orcish. Common, Celestial, Druidic, Draconic, Orc. Um, Common, Abyssal, Sylvan, Draconic, Terran. Okay. Common, Elven, and these guys. Nope. And we lost Kazoo. Oh. Oh, we lost you because. Yeah. Oh well, I'll refresh then. Yeah, we've lost you. Okay. You just saying you isn't helpful, but sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I was agreeing. I don't know. I'm. <laughs> well, I refresh. It's fine now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're back. I see. So movement. it wasn't my fault. Nope. Well. Hey. Yeah. Roll twenty. <laughs> okay. Um. You all hear whispering in this like slow, almost in this sort of a uh, slow. Just really like almost, it sounds almost like kissing more than any other other like other than like anything else. In front of us. In front of you, yes. And you're not really quite sure. Like you think in front of you, but a slight whispering that you just like catch on the edge of your hearing. Is so it there are, some of you just like hear it as sort of as, you know just indistinct, like sort of but very unsettling, like hissing and whispering. Uh, Lockhart, you make sense of the, uh, of, of this whispering. You identify it as abyssal. Okay. I can just, I just can just sort of hear at the edge of the edge you were hearing. Come join the others. Oh, for the pile. Uh oh. Uh oh. That does not sound like, good. Like, all of you doing perception checks again, please. Um, do you relay this information to us? Yes, I do. <laughs> Uh, perception. God damn it, Marcy, your burnt out perception checks are catching on me. <laughs> <laughs> I actually beat you, wait. <laughs> yeah, so, I, um. Yeah, Nana and uh, Lockhart looking around quickly. You see it about here. You see what looks like a small silhouette, like, like a tall silhouetted, like, sort of. Not like a, not like, not like, you know, um, like a human, but like a humanoid figure. Or it looks like, like two small, a, uh, um, sort of straight, like straight horns. Oh. Perking opposite directions, just standing there looking at you. And then after a second, it just, it's just gone. Like, you know, vanishing into, like, in, into the darkness again. Uh, uh, d did anyone else see that? You what? Did we? Wait, where was that? Uh, there, there was a, a thing in that pond with, uh, horns, I, I think? I don't have great feelings, but I suppose we're here to kill something, so... Also, just looking into, like, like, be, like below, into the pool, you look to be like a, like a large shape that you can't make out. Hmm. Oh just, like, you know, very slowly, like, softly moving. Hmm. Yeah, but this, uh, section around here... It's uh, fairly shallow. You could shallow, stand yeah. there. C can I ask a question? Of course. Can I throw some like pebble that I see near me into the pond? Sure, you can probably find some kind of debris, if not a, uh, if not a pebble. Okay. Uh, not, not that, not that kind of debris, hopefully. <laughs> okay, yeah. Just make me a dexterity check, we'll say. 
which which six stairs in the little saving throw or the other? Uh, not the saving throw. Just click. Just click on dex on the, the dexterity on your a. Um... It's a six. Uh, you sort of throw it, then notice on the what the pebble was uh not the pebble was uh, a little bit dirtier like than you than you realise, and you sort of like ugh, and sort of flood the throw a bit, and it just clatters down into the water, oh. and just you know, with a sickening plop. It was worth a try. By the way, I can see down here. Is that a corridor yeah. or? It looked to be a corridor of some description. Hmm. I may want to step in here just to see what's there. Okay. Carefully. Not moving down further than that. Okay. You're going to see a little more of the room. It's this a um, quite you know dingy. Seems to be like some sort of maintenance area maybe. There's like a few, uh, like you know, like unusual like, tools lying around, and yeah. But you know, in the even sort of from this angle, you can't really see a great deal. Hmm. I'm gonna uh, do blind crazy noises. Yeah, I'm gonna do one more step and try and peek okay. around the corner. Okay. Do I need to roll uh, stealth on that or? Uh, if, you, if, you, if you're gonna be stealthy, then yeah, roll stealth. Yeah, well, I try to be. We know we all know how that ends usually, but hey. <laughs> well, yeah, you totally creep around the corner, like like creeping around. You begin to see what looks to be several like sort of indistinct blackened shapes. Almost, you're not really quite sure what you're looking at. Blackened shapes. Hmm. They look like char, like sort of. Hmm. Again, like you know, they're sort of piled up amongst this other like sort of other stuff, so it's hard to make them out without. You know, invest without looking at them directly, and like actually uncovering them almost. I just whisper back, like I see something here. I can't quite make it out. <laughs> There's a separate room here. Is it a trap? <laughs> I have not checked for traps, but I also haven't stepped in a trap. So manual checking of traps. <laughs> <laughs> The only way I can do that, really. Well, I could try to... The standard barbarian method of, of finding traps, <laughs> triggering them. <laughs> yeah, triggering them, is indeed. I shall press every single tile. That's why we can be sure there will be no traps. Left. <laughs> Left. Non-trap. Yeah. Okay, well, Varric will try to leap over there, across the puddle. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, not, it's, it's only about it's only like a, a few meters. So maybe um, yeah, athletics. I think yeah. Or acrobatics. Or oh, acrobatics. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's talk about acrobatics. Yeah. Yeah, you can definitely just step over, making this like making this what like three and a bit meter like jump just look like nothing. Yeah. Can I see anything? Uh... In this direction or this direction? Uh, looking up there, it seems to be another, another sort of a um, okay, another sort of you know, tell like tunnel at the top there. There appears to be like a large, a large chute, as if as if this is more as as, as, uh, as if this is more of a purpose-built thing for uh, like a larger building. It's like basically a pipe sort of spewing out straight onto here. Okay. But you don't see you don't see anything, you know. This puddle is deeper, right? Uh, in the center, yeah. You can't really see how deep it is, but it looks, you know, deeper. You wouldn't fancy standing in it, shall we say? Mm -hmm. What this puddle? Yeah. I'm uh, gonna take. And we think this is where the noise came from. I'm gonna take two more steps here. Okay. You can actually start looking at what these things are? Yes. Okay. As you start actually like, rifling through and looking at these at these blackened body at these blackened things, you think looking at them for a few seconds and the, the shapes and everything. You're not sure but you think they're bodies, like hugely emaciated and like desiccated bodies, but like still bodies all the same. Hmm. There's something far the food here. As you begin looking at it, because they're still wearing like clothes and all, and all, it's just that they look very, like, it looks like almost as if someone who had been like, who, who had like, 
you know you see like not you don't you don't see regularly but sometimes you see like pictures of bodies which are like have been you know left out in the in, like the sort of the desert or whatever or, like you know or been withered away completely it, drained of fluids yeah it looks almost like that but black but yeah but, but blackened almost so this strange sort of like you know effect almost i'm uh, gonna move back and inform the party of what i saw there ask if they have any idea what could do that can we do an insight or something uh let me know i can't check we'll say because i sure as hell don't 11. not sure Uh, yeah, you don't really know. It's like, you can think of a, of a few, like, things that might be able to cause it specifically, like, you know. Uh, it's like some, Burning. like some, yeah, like, so we'll see, you know, some forms of a, uh, of a, of, like, unholy fire have, have been known to have that effect. A, um, like a, a large exposure to, ne to, to necros necrotic damage can cause that. Um, necrotic maybe... fire, you say? Uh, no, I do not, in fact, say that. <laughs> uh, some, a, uh, like, some... I think maybe psychic, like a huge, not a, huge, well, a significant amount of psychic damage could also do it, as it can cause like, like if it can cause a lot of da damage to the body that that sort of changes how it works almost, and like sometimes rejects fluids completely. I relay this information to the crew, unless anyone else has a more specific idea. Perhaps someone else wants to do an arcana check. Um, hang on. I have a detect Someone who magic. casts magic? Oh. <laughs> I have a detect magic spell. That's what I'm going to use. Detect magic? You're going to detect yeah. magic on the bodies then? Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah detecting it. Over here, maybe? You feel... Yeah, you see feel faint traces of a... Um, oh, dear. You feel faint traces of what you think is evocation. Like, sort of magic. Ever what now? Evocation. Evocation. The school of evocation. But also traces of enchantment, strangely. I relate Would that. this help us if we were more aware of the spells in d, &D? I'm going to say, if you've already made your check, I'm going to say no. Mm, that's not curious. No, I mean just... Can we investigate if there's any sign of the black marks? Or on the bodies? Or... Yeah. Okay, make me a perception or investigation check to, set, to pat the bodies down. Well, I'll do investigation this time. More of that type of thing. Okay, you sort of search the bodies and the, yeah, there's a black mark. It covers their entire body. <laughs> <laughs> but also patting down one, one, of the, one of the bodies, you sort of... If you, you, you hit what sort of sounds like parchment underneath. Hmm. Is there any text on that? Well, you, you you haven't like you know like like grabbed it. You've just sort of like you know been searching the body and just felt what sort of felt like parchment underneath. Although this person's like sort of a um like sort of you know this like leather jerkin this person was wearing. It seems to have gone like it seems to have gone like sort of you know gone like sort of flaky and crispy almost. Like you know the, 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 what you feel would be tough leather otherwise are just like flaking and breaking off easily. Please can we move our tokens so that they're in the right place? And we're not just doing all of this from like meters away. Very long arms. <laughs> oh. I was standing here earlier. <laughs> there is still a corridor here, though, so I'm gonna slightly move over here. Yes, yeah, that you would be able to actually see. Right. Well, I'll check if it's actually parchment or just a piece of clothing. Okay, right. And roll initiative. <laughs> it's an <laughs> evil letter. <laughs> you touched the magic leather, and now you die. You have found the beacon of no. <laughs> Give me a second. Right, you find this parchment, which has a large, like, sort of, like, has a small, like, sort of almost star shaped. Like blackened mark on it, as it quite similar to the effect on the bodies and the clothes around it. You can't see that, right? Um, on the handouts. Um. No. What? Wait. Confusion. Oh. Nope. Right. How about now? There you go. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Show to oh, players okay. does not work. 
Hey, you misspelled a word. I know, I did not see that until later. <laughs> I write to you now with a Sometimes reason to believe that my ook, sometimes known as the jack, jackal, possibly, ning of weapons and war supplies, pointing to the jackal, it is one of which I suspect to be fear that will happen should this. Oh, okay. so I have sent this letter. See her than a few trusted individuals aware that the not aware of the nature of what they are carrying for few I can trust I will be fleeing the citadel shortly after sending this letter for I fear the long arms of those who this letter refers to I wish you good luck in this issue and your battles to come mm, hang on that is directed to Bastion Commander Wolf yeah Dun, dun, dun. It didn't seem to reach him though, did it? Nope. Did it? Or did it? Maybe it did. It might have been. Tin foil hats loud, so I'm loud. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely refers to the jackal if you cons if you combine the third and the fourth uh, sentence. Oh yeah. Hmm. That's something. Because the bodies, what type of uh, creature do they look like? Um, a bean. I'm going to say maybe a reception check, because it's, you know... The, the mixture of desiccation and, like, almost burning what? is, you know... Oh, well. yeah. <laughs> from what you can tell, this was a... From what you can tell, this was a... Like, this was a... Like, a, like, be a human male, you think. There's a few other bodies in here looking them over, but they, um... Appear, they appear to be, you know, various sort of guard, like, guards people, the odd just standard labourer. Um, mostly human, there's the odd dwarf here and there, and a half-elf, but, you know. So, this might have been one of the patrols sent in here. That never returned. Hmm. But why would they carry this ladder? At this point, the, uh, whispering, you hear the whispering again. And to which you, Foxy, I can understand as... Stand amid your future fate. No matter who they are. They join the bile. Oh no. The bile? They join the pile. The it's pile not... of the or the bile. I don't think there's much of a difference here. <laughs> True. Okay. Different meaning though. At this point, a um Mars, as you're looking over the bodies, you feel this just sickening, painful sensation and you're What's it now? What's that? I just, I just sort of looking at the bodies and like sort of listening to this like whispering. You feel this like painful icy sensation from behind you, just someone like gripping your heart directly. And the rest of you begin to see yeah. this, uh, <laughs> begin to see this creature coalesce behind him. Oh. Or its hand it, like through his back. Wait, what? Wait, through my back? Oh boy. This small, the small like sort of, uh, hang on, I, I should be able to find you a picture. Of which to use. Wait, something's attacked Mars. Through his back. Apparently. That is a uh... creature that looks rather like this. Oh, snap. Okay then. Hmm. Oh, Muzz. Yes. This sort of like like icy, sickening sensation hits you in the back, and you just feel like you just feel like your your blood just run cold, like it's fr like it's freezing in your very uh, um like veins. Uh, can I invoke okay. my danger sense? Mhm. Mm can so, I invoke my danger sense? Uh, no, because you didn't see it coming. <laughs> Wait, I need to look at. You this. take thirteen oh, right. points of psychic damage. Oh, oh he's cute. And I need all of you to roll me initiative. Floaty boy. Thirteen points, you said. Ow. Yeah. Oh wait, no, that's You're a bit fucking too much. lucky that he he low you rolled terribly. Uh, okay. And okay. roll initiative. And I need everyone to roll me initiative. Did you say yes. so? 
Wait, am I even clicking on no, no? Oh, hey, finally. Oh, 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 okay. I'm a little bit further away. I don't actually see it yet. You're too big, Graz. Yeah, I get that a lot. My line of view is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. okay. The creature reacts Ooh. first to itself. <laughs> I was I was keeping lookout on the door. Mhm. Mm Um, I mean, I guess now I can see it. <laughs> yeah, now well, now you can see the hand sticking through your chest in front of you. Like, mm. it's like semi-coalescent hand. That's not good. <laughs> but you still, yeah. Right, it's turn. It's going to take a... It's going to take... It's, it's going to uh, withdraw. So it doesn't invoke a text for opportunity. It does? It doesn't. Oh, and it's just... And, it, and, it, and it's, it's hand just, just... It's hand just quickly withdraws from the... Uh, um, from, mm -hmm. like, for, like, from you. <laughs> I, uh, and just a uh, and it just like you know slithers off and it's just, it's just shadowy form just slithers off out of the uh, out of the room. Well, crap. Dude. I just lost yeah. a third of my health by something I now don't see anymore. That is very disconcerting. Rock out, your turn. Uh, let me have a think. Fuck, that's not the thing I want to click. Right, so let's have a look at spells. Uh, I'm gonna run up to Muzz uh, and heal him. Thank you. Re this one? Does it want to work? How does it... How do you collect things? <laughs> it doesn't work! I'm clicking it and it doesn't... I'm oh, there you go. Cast of what level? Level 1, I'm guessing? Yeah, level 1. Okay. Oh, I, I clicked it a lot of times. Hmm. I... Oh, no. oh, one second. It crashed. Did I break it? No, it's, <laughs> uh, it's on my end. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Can't interact on anything, I'm gonna have to reload. Um, hang on, I think, I think I broke some text boxes. Yes, I did. Oh boy, this is nice. This is nice. We need a technical difficulty screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if that's okay. not working, just straight roll, roll uh, 1d8 and you're supposed to have plus 3, I believe. There's a text box in front of me, there you go. Um, 1d8. Well, you can just just uh, just as a heads up, Foxy. What you can just do is see in your attacks and spellcasting a um, tab on the core page. Spells, yeah. Well, you see on on the core page right there. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah you can just like hit. You can just like click on cure wounds, and it will auto a uh, um roll like roll how what it will do for you. Oh, thank you. Have a four. Thank you. That helps a little bit. Okay, and anything else? Um, no, I'll just stand there. Okay. Uh, Chris, your turn. Uh, well, I'm uh, really disconcerted by that, and I'm gonna end you my bridge, <laughs> and I'm gonna move one, two, three, four. Well, four is enough. <laughs> I'm gonna stay here and uh, okay. ready my weapon. So real this. Okay, you, uh, if you can make me perception check, please. Perception? Perception. That what is. do you all guys see? Okay, you do in fact see this creature. Uh, as you see it, like, like, as it sits shadowy form slithering away in the darkness. Again. Well, in that case, I will uh, throw my javelin at it because I'm quite pissed right now. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, that that, that will about, just about do it. <laughs> Seven yeah. damage. Yeah, you see, yeah, you see, you're, you're, you just like in your anger, you just throw this gel and hits it in the back, and it, after a second, just pops clean out. It has done something, but like it's, it's, it's like shadowy form is uh, almost less affected as some by this by your standard weapon. Uh, Nonetheless, it's def you've definitely done something. Hang on. Uh, Anything else? 
Yeah, I was thinking, no, that's probably not going to be in range because that was 10 feet, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Quickly check. That's the wrong one. You do also see this, uh, this like large shape you saw uh, here earlier, which is like strangely coloured and like whitish almost against the a uh, um uh, against this like this dark this murky like dark a uh, um a sort of water. The water definitely moving almost. And it seems to be like looking your way ish. You get the sense. Mm -hmm. What the water? There's, uh, there's this like strange white shape that you see in the water. Hang on. I think this thing is supposed to be tempting us in. Oh, uh, my aura is... No, it's 10 feet. Never mind. Oh, That's not enough. Second. My okay. um, headphones are being weird. That should be better. Okay, uh, okay then Varric, that's my turn. Varric, your turn. Okay. Um... I do shout, I can see it over here. <laughs> okay, then, then I will move up there. I'll push a little bit past you over there. I'm assuming I can see it. You can see it, yeah, because now, now that's one person has spotted it's broken stealth, so... Hmm. I'm going to use my bonus action to dash and get right next to it. Okay. And then I'm going to swing it with my troll sword. Okay. And miss. No, you sort of trip in a bit of the uh, in a bit of the, the debris you didn't see in the in the water, and just uh, go wide of your, with your swing. Uh, and that's my turn. Okay. Uh, nah, your turn. No one's in the water, right? Not no right one's now. In the water. Okay. Good to know. Okay. How much run do I have? Let's get the good trusty, trusty. Okay. Get the tape measure out. This is a long way away, and I have to give up my action to dash, don't I? Because I'm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Not a. Not a rogue. Not a rogue. Hang on, how do I be... Where's the, the shape? Can you, like, maybe... The it? shape is here. Well, no. I'm in the, oh, no, the, the, in the water. water. There. Right in the centre of the, uh, um... Of this sort of, um, yeah. Deeper pool. Probably has an official engineering name for it, but fuck it. Okay. Yes, I would like to dash then. I already forgot where to. You can get all the way up to there. Oops. Here, I think. That's, 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 that's a standard move, so. Or, wait, no, it's not. Well, so I just saw, well, if you're measuring it from there, it was, just, it was, only, 30, it was only 30 feet, so. Oh. Then. Oh, okay. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking absolute nonsense, so ignore me for a moment while I get my well, shit It's your turn. Together. You can't really do that. Hey, look. I'm getting my shit together, okay? At that point, you should probably see the rest of this uh, here room. Uh, Polygon reveal. Why are you so annoying to use? Oh, Ooh. big old room. Oh. oh boy. Don't really see him, do I? He's around the corner. Yes, I would like to um, shoot an arrow into the white blob. You're going to shoot an arrow into the white blob? Okay. Maybe, in a, maybe, maybe we'll just uh, an attack sort of a, a, a bow roll at disadvantage. Okay. Uh, yeah, you just shoot an arrow generally into the area. Doesn't really 
Not 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 exactly where you're trying to hit because you're trying to hit you know a very indistinct shape that's underwater. Yeah, there is so, that. So you're just sort of yeah, your arrow just sinks in and doesn't really, doesn't leave a broken response you can see. Well, my turn is done. <laughs> okay. The creature's going to turn around and try and attack you as a as is expected. However, it rolled like trash. That's a 12. Miss. Uh, yeah, you just... It, it, it's shadowy hand comes up. You're expecting it. You just, like, do dodge back, like, quickly. It's then gonna move... It's then gonna move away, provoking an attack opportunity. I'll take that. That does, in fact, hit. Huzzah. Yeah, as it's sort of... Yeah, you, you manage to get a strike into its side. Like, carving away its, like, sh like, sh like, sh like shadowy, like, semi-real sort of form. As it just begins, as it just begins floating away, like, e like easily gliding over the uh, um, or the uh, this pool. Hmm. Lock it out. Your turn. Um, how many steps can I take? Uh, th I think for it's thirty-five, and it would be thirty-five feet, which an inch of these squares is a um, five feet each. So that'd be seven, I believe. Okay, I'm gonna move over here. I think that's seven. Mhm. Mm um. Um. Hang on. Okay, I'll have to use my um, what you call it, longbow mm -hmm. in that case, and then damage. It does in oh, fact wow. hit. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'll take it. Yep. And you I'm just down like fuse fire out just straight into the base of this thing's like skull. It just roars out an abyssal pain. You just see like a flurry of insults. Me. It hasn't done as much, quite as much as, you, as you've wanted. It's like the arrow again just drops out of its like semi-real form. But you've definitely hit it quite hard. Yeah. Well, it's your turn. I will move up. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And I will throw another javelin at it. Okay, I need something. That should hit. Again, hits. More damage. Nine damage. Yeah, again, just sails, it sails through the air and hits it like square and it's like center of, the center of its form. And again, it, 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 it digs in for a second and then it immediately drops out. But you've definitely hurt it. Varric, your turn. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to race around the thing. I'm going to use uh, my movement and my bonus action to dash, so I should be able to get all the way there. And I'm okay, so you're gonna, you're gonna go, okay, all the way around, all right? Yeah. I'm gonna say that the uh, the sort of sewer water counts as, as um. No, but like I'm a... I'm going all the way like. Uh... Ah, yeah, all the way. Okay, yeah. Then in which case, yeah, from that way, that yeah, you can do that. It takes me uh, almost all of my movement with that. But yeah, I'm gonna say not today, and I'm gonna. Ooh! That definitely hits. Wait a minute, do I guess... I don't get sneak attack on that. You don't though. get sneak attack, no, you don't get sneak attack. You no. just... Do you just do a shit on damage normally? Yep. Yep. You just like... Like, as the thing is just recoiling from the several missiles going through it, you dash behind it and just... Like, and just slash in a clean line, seeing, like... Like, seeing that you're still, you're still just part... Like, maybe parting in this thing's form. And it just screams in this horrible noise. Which, you, know, you almost, almost have to like, you have to resist them to like sort of clutch your ears to a um like like just uh, here you've definitely heard this thing and then I'll turn. Hello, you all ruined my plan. <laughs> but that's okay. Why would I ever make a plan? It was my own fault. Okay. Uh, 
Well, you're also very close, Farrick, which isn't great. Yeah, I gotta um, figure out that I need to stop it. Darn to heck. I guess I will... Okay, I'm gonna... I mean, if I need to do a deck save, I'm fairly good at those. <laughs> Hit me! <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is it, though? It is! What? Okay. Are you ready? I guess. <laughs> um... Yes, this I'm going to... Level. <laughs> well, only if he fails. I'm going to cast Ice Knife on, on okay. Mr. Creation Bedoodle. How... What is my ranged... Spell, like, what... 60 feet. Huh? It's just, it's just your spell attack modifier, so it'll be your ah, proficiency plus your uh, spellcasting mod, so I think you'll be, oh, be about six. Yeah. No, that wasn't, that was just me accidentally... Well, you know, yeah, yeah that'll hit. Well, that'll hit naturally, so, you know, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you do you hit this thing with this with your ice knife. So, um... roll damage. Uh, yes. You did, you did you do a reflex save, Varric. Reflex, next up, she... Oh, crap. Oh, well. Multiple systems! <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Okay, I'm yeah. I'm so sorry that you take. <laughs> 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 um, that's not pleasant. No, I, you that said is you not were good pleasant. at deck saves, okay? Well, I mean, uh, if I had advantage, it would have been fine, but I didn't. Yeah, you take, yeah, you take 10 points of ice damage. Oof. Oh, okay, so I don't take the seven. Yeah, the, yeah, the seven it only takes. Oh, okay. I'm but, yeah, you get the, as, as your ice touch sails into this thing, you see that the, the chill which is spreading across a... Um, which, is, which, you know, is spreading across Varric from your, from your attack. And uh, you notice that, like, the, the same force affecting him, like, set, like hits like, the, the creature for a second and immediately recedes. Hang on. You said... Wait, what? All these four... Piles were turning white, or was it more? Yeah, there's some kind of some kind of was a white shape underneath it that's moving like subtly. Was it accidentally in this tile? Would have been actually. Because <laughs> then it would also for, take ten. Thank you for reminding me. Well, it would, let's, let's see if we see what what save is like. It says underwater. Whatever this thing is, it's it's a um, it's going to have an advantage on the save because you know. Okay. Regardless, it, 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 it's not. Yeah, it. You see, you feel this like roar of a uh, of pain, or well, this sort of like an underwater guttural roaring from the a uh, um, like from this sort of a uh, from that area. It's like this as this white shape begins to shift entirely. Huzzah for unintended consequences. <laughs> 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 hey, it's mm. something at least. <laughs> mm -hmm. I did the thing. Will it be able to? Nope. <laughs> right, emerging from this, from this, a uh, um, this thing, mm. the from, from this like sort of uh, this like you know white thing is what creature you probably didn't expect to find down here. <gasps> this heavily wounded and bleeding giant albino crocodile. Oh no, the chill spreading of the body. Stop! It, it, like, it, his head comes roaring out of the a uh, of the sort of water, and not seeing not seeing this like black shadowy creature above it, sees sees Varric and goes straight for him. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, wait. This isn't the thing that was. Wait, but is this supposed to be here, or is this accidentally coming from the That's sea? That's a fifteen, uh, Zay. That's a miss. Okay, Just yeah. Just. Like, I saw, it just at the very last second, you managed to like jump aside at this as this thing a um, as this like this these huge jaws come and close at you. However, it doesn't. No, wait, does it, uh, does it have a reach? Yeah, it has a reach. No, it has only reach. Has five feet, so it have to move. So as it moves through, the creature does get an attack at it. Wait, what? Hmm. Yeah, as it's sort of a crocodile, like wars to attack you. This shadowy creature, you see, like this like 
So you see in this like sort of vaguely humanoid face this oh, like, God's sake. Yeah. grin Sorry, of like sadistic pleasure as it goes down to attack it. Uh I feel like Crocodile's not the enemy. It might not be. Yeah, and again and you and as and you see subtly as this uh, crocodile again roars in pain, as it begins like slightly sort of, you know shivering and sort of like enervating almost. Still so alive, bad. but now quite wounded. That's all we just add him in at the end of the turn order. The creature's turn. I can now barely see because I put a fucking crocodile on top of it. <laughs> it's, going to, it's going to disengage. And slips past almost through you, Zay, as you a uh, um as you begin to a uh, sort as you begin to uh, you know Sort of as you're do like preoccupied by dodging the, the dodging this creature, this like huge reptilian creature. It's like the form just passes by you, like laughing su like subtly. Uh, did I see which way it went from where around it, here? It went this way, yeah. Uh... Oh my god, a giant crocodile is um f level five, not five. What do you, what do I mean? CR five. Yeah, CR five. Oh boy. Well, but it is wounded. I mean, it must be pretty wounded if it's acting wounded. It has a lot of health. If it's a crocodile, if it's a giant crocodile, to be fair. Yeah. Okay. Right. Lockhart, your turn. Yikes. Um. Okay, I'm disagreeing with it could hold its breath for thirty minutes because even a normal crocodile can do better than that. Pressing X to doubt on D and D statistics. So we can't go in the water, can we? Well, I wouldn't. Depends. I was just swimming. <laughs> I mean, I just wanted to jump on its body and stab it a couple of times. If that's viable. Most of its like upper half is out of the water, going for Valor. So. <sighs> okay. I can't really go there. Okay, I have to move. I said that all, all all the water is difficult terrain, so it costs double movement to move through because you're trying to like like you know wade through all the sludge. Wait, difficult terrain. Yeah. Oh, I don't have a um, what you call it, advantage against that terrain. No. I mean, I literally. Oh, it's not. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'll just shoot a thingy. I definitely have. Okay. There you go. I know we're only one level away from me being able to be. Yeah, uh, you must. You must just shoot the thing through the eye. Uh, it just roars in pain and it's like sinks underneath the water. You're going to see like a, like a, like a, like a slow like red mist fill the a uh, um fill the pool. Oh, that is nasty. Well, now it's blind. That's nice. Enjoy your blindness, friend. And it just goes underneath the water, motionless. Is it dead? Oh, it's your turn. Uh, uh, so you say the water is double, double the distance, right? Yeah, you could try and jump over it with an athletics check, an athletics or acrobatics check, but... That was such overkill, I had two health left. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll roll athletics to cross the small part. Okay. Yeah, um, you just, like, Matt, you just, like, one, two, easily three, bound four, over. Five. Six. Um, yeah, I'll move over here. Do I see him? I'd, no, you do not. Let me just reveal some more polygons. Please. Uh, yeah, 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 Ashton, the Albino Crocodile returns. <laughs> oh, hey, I've still got the token from, from like a year and a half ago. Let's use it again. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. It nearly stole that group to Ranger. Oh, thanks for dropping its health for us, Ashton. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for that, job. For sacrificing I... one of your members. So oh, no, he lived. Live. He was just severely wounded ah. and was grappled by a, a, a crocodile for like five rounds. I he, was be, he was being healed in the mouth of the crocodile because he couldn't get him out. Anyway. I didn't I, see I, it, though. But... Uh, you don't see it now. Uh... Well, you do notice that, yeah, you don't see it. 
I'm gonna use my bonus action to uh, run in. Okay. You gonna try and spot it again? Yep. Perception check, please. Oh boy. Please, please, please. There we go. Ooh. Yeah. Look at I your uncle. It. You look up and it's directly over you. What? Oh boy. Right. What? It's what it, 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 is, it is floated up higher than you, and it's standing in front of you. Right, then I can do this time the... I can use the Storm Aura, then, can I not? Uh, you can, yeah. Yep. That's, it, That's I think, that makes, I think. Uh, yeah, it's a 1d6 if he makes it against my... Um, 8 plus Constitution modifier. So I'll roll a d6 for that. Okay. Oof. Okay, never mind. He gets one. Yeah, it gets, it gets, okay, so yeah. yeah. No, he gets no, for did. one. <sighs> I'm shouting back like, I found it. Or it's not me. I haven't decided yet. Right, anything else? Uh, no, that's it for me. Okay, very right, good then. Okay, well, since uh, Cross said that he found it, I'm first gonna walk or run over here, and then uh, I'm assuming I can see it up. Yeah, it's, I'd say it's broken, and it's been spotted by the, like, you know, one person in the group. It's, yeah. Do you reckon it's uh, in such a height that I could hit it with my sword? It's, 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 only, it's only like, it's only like, you know, it's in reach, it's just, it's just high enough that you, that you wouldn't, you know, see it had you just been, like, looking dead ahead. Okay, well, I'll go around it, and uh, I'll start my magic. With magic, I've caused me shot as it's, high, as it's higher than you, I'm going to say you wouldn't get flanking on this, because, you know... You're not really directly adjacent, yeah. Okay, but I'll still... I'll I mean, start swinging tall, it. But... Guessing that's, that's a, hit. a hit? That is, in fact, a hit. Oh, yeah, you just managed to like, just twist the blade in. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to do the offhand attack. Okay. That's that going to be a miss. Misses. It's all. It just manages to like flutter wide of your way. Uh, um. Of your way, uh, yeah. Of just your sword. Anything else? Um. Nope. Uh. Nana, your turn. Um. Is Chris blocking this doorway or? You can oh. go past it. Uh -huh. Well, okay. Mm -hmm. Here's the dealio. I I can't become anything too big because of the uh, the issue of that tunnel. So, for example, it could not be a giant spider. Thrilling though that is, I'm sure, for us all. <laughs> uh, large beasts are the one. Medium, medium is the normal. Like medium normal is one size, square. Yeah. yeah. Large beasts are a uh, two by two. Well, I could still be a black bear. Um, if I use some movement. Yeah. And then turn into the creature. I'm going to say that wouldn't restock your movement. No. I'd say, I'd say half of that creature's movement. That. Now I'd say subtract the movement you've already used from your move from that creature's movement. Okay. Well, first things first, I have to jump across this gap, please. Yeah, acrobatics or athletics. Whichever one is highest, haha. <laughs> Uh, well, sort of this one, I guess. Yeah, you manage to, you manage to not nimbly like hop across. Ha ha! Wait, let me do some. Oops. Why the heck are you do? We got, we got such... Well, as I run, I suppose, then, I feel turn into a black bear. Okay. You turn, you're now a bear in a sewer. Yay! <laughs> I can get no further. Okay. The creature's turn. 
He's going to make another attack against uh, Varric. I really oh, well, like you, Varric. Yeah, well, I'm not sure too. No, you managed to easily dodge across it as this thing is starting to look a little... What a little bit more did you feel? I'm going to use its full round action to again disengage and run the fuck away. Um, oh, he's disengaging, so... Yeah. Yes. Attack but he did yeah. use... Oh, bonus action to disengage. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, you can't do that, so you would be able to attack him. Indeed. He is in fact not a rogue. He has some rogue features, but not a, not an actual rogue. That is enough, uh, Varric. Is that enough? That, that's a, Yeah, you leave a huge scrape across this thing. It is uh, looking rough, as some say. So it wasn't, in Wait, fact, enough. did I not also get an, an attack? You would also get an attack, yeah. In that case... Don't mind if Pretty I shame. do. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, no, you go to swing and just get caught on like what seems to be a pipe. That's uh, just you. You've got it open. Sewage just starts spraying all over you. Oh god, I need a bath after this. Again, disengages. <laughs> oh heck. Uh, lockout, your turn. Um. Oh, where did it? Where did it go? It's uh. Yeah, in the upper pause. You may want to go around. It's actually not a bad idea. Range characters in tight spaces. <laughs> 30, 35. You can use your action as well to move double it, but you won't get another an attack or a spell at the end of it is the thing. Oh, sorry, I won't get what? Hmm? What did you say? Uh, you can, what you can do is that you can use, use double your movement, but you won't be able to make an attack or use a spell at the end of it. Okay. Um, I will just move to... Lost your deck or two. can't see my thing. Yeah, I'm reloading. To maybe here, because that's seven squares. Um, uh -huh. I need to jump over the little... Give me a sec, I'm still loading in. Okay. Yeah, you should be able to just do acrobatics or athletics to jump over the thingy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, make me an acrobatics or athletics check. Uh... Uh... Not bad. Yep, you managed to like, like just nimbly dodge across. Any cool dodge all at the end of it. There you go. Anything else? Uh... Um, no, that's it. I mean, you can't, what you can do is use double your movement. Not just go double your movement, you don't get an attack or spell at the end of it, but... Um, yeah, I, I'll double my movement then. I okay, don't mind. another seven squares of movement. Okay, let me just do a... Nope, that's a dice roller. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh... There, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, Karate, your turn. I will uh, continue running after it. One, two, three, four, five. I'll wait here. Okay, maybe I'm checking it out. Yeah, there we go. I kind of expected that. <laughs> Oh. Okay, where are do all that these... Is, that is enough. <laughs> where yeah, do all these perception wrong. checks come from? <laughs> oh, this guy does it did terribly on his, on his stealth force. He's doing great modified, but he's been rolling like crap. Okay, so I made my last step forward. Yep. First of all, I'm gonna give it a little zap. Okay. Oh, yeah, it has... Doesn't... Okay, so... It's a... Yeah, he does a little zap. Does it do full damage, or...? Uh, you get the feeling it doesn't do as much damage as you thought. It doesn't dodge it, but it seems to have some kind of natural resistance to well, what you've done. Well, I guess I'll just try and hit it with my Great Axe. See how that goes. Better than the last time. I don't want to do this. Oh, I'm just gonna... aim exactly between the horns and go straight down. Okay, yeah. You imagine, as this thing begins to, like, sort of tra pull away again, oh, that... oh my god, fucking hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Barbarians, when the Barbarians get critical during a rage, it does a lot of damage. Yeah. Again, again, it was on two health. Hey, no kill like overkill. <laughs> it's now a minus 28. No, minus 30, 32. 
fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, you managed to just like hit this thing straight through like it's a uh, through it's a um horns. You just hear it roar out as you just keep cutting down and go straight through. Like this sort of semi-real like sort of shadow stuff in the middle of his body begins to immediately emaciate and just wither. And it's like and its body just falls to the ground and just these withered fit and this this like withered like sort of caras carapace almost. This like sort of you know shadow almost bleeding out like blood like sort of thick blood. I'd like to inspect the body or whatever is left of it. <laughs> yeah, it's withering quickly, but like it's vague, so, like sort of substance is staying the same. Uh, but... Investigation of perception. Um, neither. Yeah. Well, try one more perception check for today. <laughs> Anything that might help us with the investigation? Um, not really. It's this thing is quite a strange body. It's definitely like you know not biological to your. It's definitely not your stand, as standard biology. It is. It is basically seem to be just like pure shadow almost. There's like black liquid seeping out of its wounds. Pure shadow. I'm guessing we're out of combat, right? You wanna have combat, yes. Okay, I'll go in there then. Anything specific we can uh, we saw while we were here? Uh, in what regard? Hmm? What did you say? In what regard do you mean? In what regard do you mean? Oh, uh, when we were walking through these corridors, was there anything that caught our caught my eye? Our eyes? Um, hmm. Make a perception check. Well, I think we've done that. Um, I just did that. Yeah. Faint, you just see a faint blood trail. Where does that lead? Leading it, like, leads to exactly about here, actually, where you killed this thing, where it gets smothered in this, you know, creature's body and the black, like, liquid seeping out. And it's, and it, like, it goes, it seems to follow about a, um, this, like, this direction. Hmm. I'm uh, gonna carefully follow the blood trail. So there might still be a room over here. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it just follows you down this corridor. Follows you, it follows down this corridor almost. Definitely taking a peek around the corner, carefully. Okay. Right. You say a peek around the corner and just, again, an energy out forward. See, it looks to be like a, a grate in the open air. Hey, now. And I believe... See where the other people came in? I think Maybe. that's what we're going to have to call it, unfortunately. A little shorter than usual due to reasons. Yeah. But... It's good. Yeah. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll be back in two weeks' time with more uh, Dungeons and Dragons. I believe that is the case, yes. Yes. So, it's a short one, but... It happens sometimes, yeah. and we'll be back in two weeks' time. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.